So let's take a look at how to use SEMrush to analyze competitors' traffic sources so that you can see where your competitors are actually getting their traffic from. Now, if you're not already signed up for SEMrush, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a free trial and test out all these different features. But essentially, all you would do is come to the, like after you log in, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You just put the domain name in that you're looking to analyze here and then click search and then we're going to be able to see in the SEO dashboard a page that looks like this and this is the part that we really want to look at here which is the traffic analytics and that is going to show us the traffic that they're getting directly to their website so that's going to be 108 million visitors per month back in April and September it's 103 million which essentially just means people are typing in bestbuy.com into their browser and going directly to the website. Now they're also getting 10 million, roughly 10 million referral visitors per month. So those are people that come from other websites. So, you know, a website might have a link to some product on Best Buy. Maybe it's an affiliate link or something. And so people click that and that brings them about 10 million visitors a month. And then they're getting about 53 million organic search visitors. So people going to Google, searching for a product, finding their website. That's going to be that search organic search traffic. They're also getting a, a fair share of organic social traffic. So about 600,000 visitors a month, which is going to be from Facebook posts and YouTube videos and things of that nature. There's also paid social, so they might be running Facebook ads or TikTok ads or YouTube ads. That's about 150000 a month. And then there's paid search, so that's going to be like Google ads. And that's roughly $5 million a month. There's also display ads, which could be from Google, but it's those banner ads on the sides of websites. And for that, they're getting, you know, 123000 a month and about 300000 from email. And we can go to a full report here and see a further breakdown of their traffic analytics. This just sort of expands things out, gives us some device breakdown so we can see are they getting most of their traffic from mobile or desktop. And it looks like a majority of their traffic is coming from mobile. It's about twice as much from mobile as it is from desktop. And then we can also see some other metrics here like the pages per visit so this is extremely useful when you're trying to optimize for user experience if your pages per visit are 1.5 and theirs is closer to 3 then you know you need to start getting people clicking through to more pages on your website staying on your website for longer so the average person is staying on their site for about 8 minutes some people might be 30 minutes, some people might be 30 seconds, but it's averaging about 8 minutes and 30 seconds. We'll call it just to round things out. And then their bounce rate is about 49%. So about half of people that end up on their website just hit the back button before interacting with their website. And so the lower this number is, the higher these two numbers are, the better their user experience is on their website. You can also com compare things. So let's say you're competing against Best Buy. You can put your own website in here and see how you stack up to Best Buy as well. And there's a bunch of different metrics like we were seeing the channels. So this is just a further breakdown and we can check different months. We can check different periods. Uh, we can even export this data. And then we can also see the traffic journey. So just a little bit more understanding of how people interact with the website here and then their country of of traffic sources some different information about the business itself so this is a pretty good this should give you a pretty good lay of the land in terms of what your competitors got going on where they're getting their traffic from and from there you can determine what's going to be the best approach for you so like organic search traffic is by far their number one source of traffic other than direct. I mean, direct is hard to control because you really just have to build a brand and a lot of people need to know about your website, but they're probably getting a lot of that uh, notoriety from 
ranking and also lots of advertising and stuff, but <laughs> having been around for a long time. But if 53 million people are finding their website each month from organic search, and over time more and more people start to like Best Buy, then they're going to get more and more direct traffic, right? So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to determine the traffic sources for your competitors' websites or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably gonna start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.